Welcome. The following technical support video will show you how to set up the test print feature in the Printer Jackie software. What this feature will do is it will allow you to set up automatically a test print to be printed off of your printer without you being present based on what day of the week and what time of the day you want it to come out. You can set multiple ones of these up on the same printer if you'd like as well. So to begin with, we'll open up the Printer Jackie software. We'll find the print queue that we want to look at using. In this case, we're going to use the Epson Stylus Pro 7800. You'll double click and bring open that print queue. Go underneath Printer Options and you'll see Time Prints. You'll click on that and the Time Prints window will open up. And Here's where you will set up all of the days that you want to have printed, the time, and stuff like that. So the way we'll do it is we'll first start off by adding a timer. Click on that button, and it'll then give us a choice of when we want something to be printed. What I'm going to do for this case is just go ahead and say at 1 a.m. I'd like a test print to be put through my printer. This is all I'll use when I go on different trips, maybe on the nights, maybe on the weekends, whatever you'd like to have it set up. Once you do that, it will then give you the availability of which one of the days you want to do. Default is for every day. If you don't want it every day, you just want it on the days where you're not going to be present, click on Saturday and Sundays. And then it will show up at 1 a.m. You can have multiple timers as well listed underneath there and you would just select that. The next thing you're going to want to do is go over to the print pattern and select which one of these print patterns you want to show up. Pattern number one looks like this. Pattern number two gives you a little bit more lines, which will give a little bit more income. Pattern three is a little bit less. So in this case, I'm going to go with pattern two. You want to test this out to determine which one works best for you. In the current situation, pattern two, let's just say I tend to get more clogs and I want to push more ink out. I would just go ahead and do that. Or I could turn around and go with pattern number one, which has less lines, but have it print multiple times a day. Either feature will work, depending on however you want to have it set up. So in the current case, we're just going to use pattern two. We'll come over here and set it up for the size of our printer. So what piece of paper we're going to have in there, how it's going to come out in print. In this case, we're running the Epson Stylus Pro 7800. I'm just going to have it come off of a roll of paper. My roll of paper will be 24 by 36. I'll then turn around and set it into roll mode. If I'm using a regular printer, a R1800, something like that, I could have it in sheet mode. If you're using direct garment printers, I'd recommend you contacting your manufacturer to determine what mode the printer is running in. Next thing you'll do is you'll choose your resolution. The higher the resolution, the more ink that will come out for it. So you just choose depending on which one you want. In this case, we'll choose 720 by 720. And by directional is perfectly fine in this case. Now since we're using this as a scheduled print feature, we're probably going to want to send ink out of all of the lines. If you're using it with a direct -to garment printer, you might only want the ink to come out of your white channels which in most cases tend to be your light black, your light magenta, your light cyan, and your light light black. Just depends however you want to do it. If you want to uncheck certain channels, you're more than welcome to uncheck them as well. If there are channels that you want to push ink through at a heavier rate, then what you can do is you can increase your resolution. Let's jump it up to 1440 by 1440. Let's say our white channels for a direct garment are on the light cyan, light magenta, light black, and light black. What I can then do is click on the levels. I'm going to leave all of these channels that are in the lights full because those are going to be our white ink. And since I have less clogging problems on my black channels, I can just turn around and drag these down so that way I'm only doing 50% of the clean on them. Once I have that set, I can then go ahead and hit OK, and I can save the schedule. Once I save the schedule, if you go back into the main interface, you'll notice that there now becomes a little clock feature that shows up, just letting you know that you have a scheduled time print 
set up for that printer. And that's all it takes for how to set up your own test time print. If you have any questions, please contact your distributor or visit www.printerjockey.com. Thank you.